The Internationale, French, l'Internationale, is a left wing anthem. It has been a standard of the socialist movement since the late 19th century, when the Second International adopted it as its official anthem. The title arises from the First International, an alliance of workers which held a congress in 1864. The author of the anthem's lyrics, anarchist Eugène Pottier, attended this congress. The original French refrain of the song is C'est la lutte finale, groupons nous et domaine, l'internationale, sera le genre humain, English. This is the final struggle, let us group together and tomorrow, the internationale, will be the human race. The internationale has been translated into many languages. The internationale has been celebrated by anarchists, communists, socialists, democratic socialists, and social democrats. Copyright The original French words were written in June 1871 by Eugène Pottier 1816 previously a member of the Paris Commune and were originally intended to be sung to the tune of La Marseillaise. In 1888 Pierre de Gator set the earlier lyrics to a new melody, composed especially for Pottier's lyrics. De Gator's melody was first publicly performed in July 1888, and soon thereafter Pottier's lyrics became closely associated with, and widely used with, De Gator's new melody. Thus, the Internationale gained an identity that was entirely distinct, and no longer in any way directly tied to the French national anthem, the Marseillaise. In a successful attempt to save Pierre de Gator's job as a woodcarver, the 6,000 leaflets printed by Lille printer Bolbodic only mentioned the French version of his family name, de Gator. In 1904, Pierre's brother Adolphe was induced by the Lille mayor Gustave Delory to claim copyright, so that the income of the song would continue to go to Delory's French Socialist Party. Pierre de Gator lost the first copyright case in 1914, but after his brother committed suicide and left a note explaining the fraud, Pierre was declared the copyright owner by a court of appeal in 1922. In 1972, Montana Edition, owned by Hans R. Beierlein, bought the rights to the song for 5,000 Deutschmark, first for the territory of the former West Germany, then in the former East Germany, then worldwide. East Germany paid Montana Edition 20,000 German marks every year for its rights to play the music. Pierre de Gator died in 1932, causing the copyrights to expire in 2002. Luckhart's German text is public domain since 1984. As the Internationale music was published before 1 July 1909 outside the United States of America, it is in the public domain in the United States. As of 2013, Pierre de Gator's music is also in the public domain in countries and areas whose copyright durations are author's lifetime plus 80 years or less. Due to France's wartime copyright extensions prorogations de guerre, SACEM claims that the music was still copyrighted in France until October 2014. As Eugène Pottier died in 1887, his original French lyrics are in the public domain. Gustave Delory once acquired the copyright of his lyrics through the songwriter G. B. Clement having bought it from Pottier's widow. <laughs> <laughs> original lyrics <laughs> Translations into other languages The German version, Die Internationale was used by East German anti-Stalinists in 1953 and again during the 1989 protests which toppled SED rule. When numerous East Germans were arrested for protesting the 40th anniversary celebrations for the GDR, several of them sang the hymn in police custody to embarrass their captors, and imply that they had abandoned the socialist cause they were supposed to serve. Luckhart's version, the standard German translation, of the final line of the chorus tellingly reads. Die Internationale or Kampfet das Menschenrecht. The Internationale will win our human rights. It was coupled with the chant, Volkspolize, stay dem Volki bei. People's Police, stand with the people. The Internationale. In Chinese, simplified Chinese, Guo Ji Gei, traditional Chinese, Guo Ji Gei, pinyin, Guo Hij, literally the International Song, has several different sets of lyrics. 
One such version served as the de facto anthem of the Communist Party of China, 12 the national anthem of the Chinese Soviet Republic, 13 as well as a rallying song of the students and workers at the Tiananmen Square protests of 1989, 14. Topic. Russian lyrics The Russian version was initially translated by Arkady Kotz in 1902 and printed in London in Zhizn, a Russian émigré magazine. The first Russian version consisted of three stanzas as opposed to six stanzas in the original French lyrics, and based on stanzas 1, 2 and 6 and the refrain. After the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia, the text was slightly reworded to get rid of now useless. Future tenses, particularly the refrain was reworded, the future tense was replaced by the present, and the first person plural possessive pronoun was introduced. In 1918, the chief editor of Izvestia, Yuri Steklov, appealed to Russian writers to translate the other three stanzas and in the end, the song was expanded into six stanzas. In 15 March 1944, the Soviet Union adopted the Hymn of the Soviet Union as its national anthem. Prior to that time, the Internationale served as the principal musical expression of allegiance to the ideals of the October Revolution and the Soviet Union. The Internationale continued to be recognized as the official song of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, and the post-1919 Soviet version is still used by the Communist Party of the Russian Federation. The full song is as follows. Topic. English lyrics. The traditional British version of the Internationale is usually sung in three verses, while the American version, written by Charles Hope Kerr with five verses, is usually sung in two. The American version is sometimes sung with the phrase the Internationale, the International Soviet, or the International Union, in place of the International Working Class. In English renditions, Internationale is sometimes sung as rather than the French pronunciation of national. Billy Bragg was asked by Pete Seeger to sing The Internationale with him at the Vancouver Folk Festival in 1989. Bragg thought the traditional English lyrics were archaic and unsingable Scottish musician Dick Gaughan and former Labour MP Tony Benn disagreed, and composed a new set of lyrics. The recording was released on his album The Internationale along with reworkings of other socialist songs. Topic. Chinese lyrics Ku Chubai's version The most common and official Chinese version is the de facto anthem of the Communist Party of China, 23 it was first translated on 15 June 1923 from the Russian version by Ku Chubai Chinese, Ku Chubai 24 a leading member of the Communist Party of China in the late 1920s. His translation has transliterated the Internationale as Ying Ta Na Shang Nair simplified Chinese, Ying Ta Na Shang Nai Er traditional Chinese, Ying Ta Na Shang Nai Er when singing the phrase in standard Chinese. When the Chinese Soviet Republic was established in 1931, it was decided to be its national anthem, 25, as he was executed by the Kuomintang in 1935. His Chinese translation is in the public domain wherever the duration of copyright is an author's lifetime plus up to 70 years, including Chinese speaking mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan, lifetime plus 50 years in these places, and Singapore, lifetime plus 70 years. The three Chinese lyrics roughly correspond to the three Russian lyrics by Arkady Kotz and the first, second, and sixth French lyrics by Eugène Pottier. The fourth and fifth stanzas are not used in the official Chinese version and the PRC forbids the use of them in public performances of the song. The song was a rallying anthem of the demonstrators at the Tiananmen Square protests of 1989, and was repeatedly sung both while marching to the square and within the square. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 many hundreds of people not only students appeared on the street. They ran after the trucks and shouted protest slogans. A few stones were thrown. The soldiers opened fire with live ammunition. The crowd threw themselves on the ground, but quickly followed the convoy again. The more shots were fired, the more the crowd got determined and outraged. Suddenly they started singing. The Internationale. They armed themselves with stones and threw them towards the soldiers. 
There were also a few Molotov cocktails and the last truck was set on fire. Note that the lyrics above were translated from the first, second and sixth last stanza of the French original. Topic. National Revolutionary Army version When commemorating the 55th anniversary of the Paris Commune on 18 March 1926, the National Revolutionary Army printed a music sheet with three lyrics of the Internationale in Chinese, roughly corresponding to the first, second, and sixth French lyrics by Eugène Pottier. When singing refrain twice after each lyric, the Internationale is transliterated first as ying ter la shang -ner Chinese, ying te er la shang na er and second as ying ter na shang -ner Chinese, ying te er na shang na er Topic. Shen Baoji's version The third, fourth, and fifth French stanzas are not sung in Chinese in the above two versions of Ku and the National Revolutionary Army. Chinese translator Shen Baoji, simplified Chinese, Shen Baoji, traditional Chinese, Shen Baoji, 1908 to 2002, has made a complete Chinese translation, published in 1957, of all six French stanzas. 27. Shen's translation has transliterated the Internationale as Ying Dai Er Nixiaoner, simplified Chinese, Yin Dai Er Na Xiao Na Er, traditional Chinese, Yin Dai Er Na Xiao Na Er in the stanzas, different from the transliterations of Ku and the National Revolutionary Army. As the copyright law of the People's Republic of China grants individuals copyright for their lifetime plus 50 years, Shen's translation is expected to remain copyrighted there until the end of 2052. Topic: Non-Mandarin versions. In addition to the Mandarin version, the Internationale also has Cantonese and Taiwanese Hokkien versions, occasionally used in Hong Kong and Taiwan. The word Internationale is not translated in either version. Topic: <laughs> South Asian lyrics. Versions of the song in Indian languages, particularly Bengali and Malayalam, have existed since the time of colonial rule. It was translated into Bengali by the radical poet Kazi Nasrul Islam and subsequently by Bengali mass singer Hamanga Biswas. The Assamese version was translated by the poet Bishnu Rabba. The Malayalam version of the song has existed since the 1950s with the translation of the song for the people of the Indian state of Kerala by actor and social activist Premji for the United Communist Party of India CPI. Pakistani musical group LAAL performed a version of this anthem in their translation. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Filipino versions. There were 3 versions of the song. First one was composed by Juan Felio of the Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas 1930 under the title Pandig Digang Awit ng Mangagawa, the International Workers Anthem, which was translated from the English version. The second version was composed by the Communist Party of the Philippines CPP and was derived from the Chinese version. The third version was also derived from the Chinese version and translated by Jose Maria Sisson, the CPP's chairman. In film In the 1965 film The East is Red, produced the year prior to the Cultural Revolution, the song is performed at the end in the very last scene. In the 1993 film In the Heat of the Sun Yang Guang Can Land de Rizi by Chinese director Zhang Wen, the song plays loudly over a brutal scene where the main character, Ma Xiao Jun, repeatedly beats an innocent victim to a state of bloodied unconsciousness. Set during the Cultural Revolution 1966 to 1976, the film's use of the Internationale, a song played at official events and at the end of the day's radio broadcast during this era, is intended to symbolize the hypocrisy of Maoist ideological rectitude. In Federico Fellini's 1973 film Amarcord, the song is played on gramophone as part of cruel prank to get an innocent person arrested by fascists in 1930s Italy. Ken Loach used the Spanish version of this song in his 1995 movie Land and Freedom, set during the Spanish Civil War. References Sources 
Gill, Tom. The 3rd of June 1998. The International. The Guardian. Melbourne. Archived from the original on the 25th of October 2009. Topic. External links Wikilivres has original media or text related to this article, the Internationale Bragg in the public domain in South Korea. A documentary on the Internationale. Another large collection of downloadable recordings. The Internationale. Lyrics and tabs. Communist propaganda clip with the Internationale. As background music Albanian and Russian on YouTube. The Internationale. In a minor mode by the Proletariat Mondial Organisé on YouTube in French. Downloadable recordings in more than 40 languages. Piano arrangements and orchestral MIDI file of The Internationale. Lyrics of this song at Metro Lyrics. IWW version, translated by Charles Kerr from the Little Red Songbook London, 1916. A collection of the Internationale in different languages.